Don't touch my room. This is my room. Here are all my chains. And this is my city. And here are my buses and my tram. Here's my closet. I go inside, then I close the doors and pretend it's an elevator. This is where I keep my books. I know where everything is. They won't change my room around. They will give me a carpet. Buses can't go on a carpet. And they will take away this wall. I love this wall. They say everything will be bigger and better. I say everything will be worse. But they say I will need a bigger room to share when we get my baby brother. I don't want to share anything. I don't want a baby brother either. What if he cries all night? It will give me terrible dreams. What if the baby grabs all my toys and knocks down my city? How can I play? Why don't we just forget about it? We don't need a baby at all. Then we won't have to change anything. But they say we are getting him anyway. Maybe he could live somewhere else. We could visit. They said that way they couldn't get to know the baby. They say wait and see. My new room will be terrific. My new baby brother will be loads of fun. I'm not so sure. But just in case. I'm moving. This can be my room. And here's where I will put my sign. It will say in giant letters, Don't touch my room. Don't touch my things. They touched everything. It's for your new room, they said. It's for the new baby, I said. First, they packed all my buses and cars and chains and my tram and my books. They took down my city. Then they moved on my bed and my lamp and my night table and my favorite pillow. All the toys got put into boxes and put away in the cellar. All my clothes and best stuff went into the living room where I will sleep. The wall broken to bits and carried away. And now my room gone. Everything's gone. My closet doors that I used for a pretend elevator are off and gone too. Everything's terrible. At night in the living room where my bed is, the street light shines. Even though I closed my eyes. When I looked out the window there, I get scared by the branches of the big chain. I can't sleep. I can't play either. Don't touch the tools. Not safe, the workers say. So I have to do lots of secret stuff. When it's night time, I creep back to the space where my where my old room used to be. I turn on the work light and play. I grab a wrench. I'm a pirate. I lift a two chest. I'm a strong man. I put on a job clothes. I'm a ghost. Sometimes I just walk around and think how I'd make my new room. Trap door here, tree house there, swimming pool over there. But they find out about almost everything. Stay out of the work area. Too dangerous. Night or day, they say. At night, they cover the living room window with a cloth. No light gets through. Now you can sleep, they say. And no peeking in your new room. Not until it's ready. Come and see, they finally say. I'm scared to look.
My war, just like the old one. It's terrific. My closet door, it doesn't close like an elevator. It's terrible. I look inside my toys. There are my cars, my buses, my chain and chains, and my books, all back, great. And the carpet, it's flat. Buses can go on it. I can put my city here. I say, what's all this stuff? For the baby, they say. No fair. It's taking up all my new room. What about me? Well, there's a surprise. They say, what is it? Find it. They say, I look everywhere. I can't find it. So they take me over to the new wall. Push, they say. I push. Wham! A secret door opens. It's big enough only for me. I crawl inside. Where did you get this little room? I say. They just smile. I put my city inside. I say, a secret door to a secret city, not for babies, not for grown-ups, just for me. And here's where I will put my sign. It will say in giant letters, "Don't touch my things." Now, what would you like to play? They said, nothing. I said. So I'd go in, go to my room and push on the special spot on the wall. A closet. My secret door opened to my secret place. That's where I keep my city. Then he got older. They started calling him Benji. I started calling him words. He tried to. Pull my hair, or scratch my face, or pinch my nose. Don't! I yelled. He just laughed. Benji got bigger. They started calling him Benji. Watch out! I started calling him Benji the Pest. That's because he always crawled around after me, so we don't have to play dog. And he'd always laugh when I tossed him the red ball, so I'd have to do it about a million times. The table was set: milk, lamb chops, smashed potatoes, carrots, peas, plates, knives, forks, spoons, one vase with flowers, and the candles all fell to the floor. They screamed at him. I had no choice. Come on, Benji, I said. We crawled to my secret door, opened it, and went inside to play with my secret city. Before I closed the door, I told them, "Don't touch my baby." Huh? That's a very sweet story, right? I like it.